So it's Newcastle taking on Spurs down in London at the weekend on Sky Super Sunday. And it's a bit of a tricky game for Newcastle, obviously going into a team in Tottenham who have won four of their last five games and obviously won their last two games. They're looking to make it three games in a row. Newcastle, on the other hand, have sort of done the opposite. We've lost our last two games and we are looking to kind of stop that run of bad results after winning, well not winning, but being unbeaten in nine games. We now want to, you know, start another run of games going where we can obviously get some good results. So Tottenham away, not particularly the easiest game at the moment. They're, they're, they are a team that is in decent form. They've sort of, they've had some odd results, um, but they are also getting lots of points at the moment as well. So very, very much a team to be wary of. However, I don't think we need to go down to Tottenham Stadium and be scared of them. I think we've got the players within our squad to have a really good go. You know, we've played there twice in the league and we haven't lost there yet. We were very fortunate last season. We kind of nicked a point with a very late penalty from Callum Wilson. But, you know, and Joe Linton obviously scored the goal in the first first time we ever played there to win the game. So, you know, we go to a stadium where we haven't lost. We will see what we can do. In terms of team news, it looks like most players will be back. Callum Wilson, unfortunately... I don't know what's going on with him, but he's not going to be part of it still. And Eddie Howe actually can't put a, a time limit on when he's going to be back. So that's slightly concerning. However, we'll expect Chris Wood, obviously, to start up front still. And that's fine. I hope he can bag another goal. That would be really good for his confidence. Eddie Howe also alluded to the fact that there was a bit of illness in the camp. And so I do wonder whether we might miss one or two players uh, due to you know COVID-related issues, possibly things like that. John Joe Shelby was sort of named as one who hasn't trained all week. Whether that means he'll be fit for the game or not, I'm not quite sure. If he hasn't trained properly as well, he might be okay on the match day, but will he be fit enough to you know, play 90 minutes of football from the start? So that'll be one to keep an eye on. Apart from that, it, it looks like we've got a pretty much full squad. Eddie Howe is hoping that people who have been ill will be back, so... We will see what happens. It's quite exciting to have club football back after a lot. what's felt like a really long international break, but we'll see what we can do. Like I said, Tottenham are a very tough opponent and we will have our work cut out not to make it three losses in a row, but I have faith in this team. We have shown recently that we can give anybody a game and we can get a result against most teams. We were unlucky against Chelsea, I think fatigue got the better part of us against Everton and we kind of just run out of steam. And I think the the international breaks actually helped us. So we'll see what happens. I just, I hope that we can just get back to at least not losing. That's what I want to do. You know, if we can come away with a draw from Tottenham, that would be a good result in my opinion. If we could nick a win, we'd be dreaming. Our position in the league is obviously nine points clear of Watford in the relegation spot. That's the gap we now need to manage between now and the end of the season. And really, we I think we need to you know win one or two more games. One one game would probably be enough. Two will certainly be enough. So if we can pick up a you know three, four, five points, we're going to be fine. If we can start by getting one point against Spurs, we will be all right. I'd love to know what your prediction for the match is. Let me know your score predictions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And I will see you really soon for another video.